hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so so far in the signals and systems discussion we discussed about the time reversal operation performed on signals we discussed both for the continuous time and discrete time domain signals and we discussed some examples so in this video uh, it will also be uh, related to time reversal but a very uh, different concept we are going to discuss let us say we take a signal like this this is the time axis the amplitude axis and uh, let us say the signal is something like this so if you remember this is actually the rectangular pulse function okay we have already discussed uh, related to the rectangular pulse function so this is the rectangular pulse function so the rectangular pulse function uh, if uh, i just write it again the representation it is represented in such a way this is 1 the amplitude 1 for t greater than minus tau by 2 lesser than tau by 2 and 0 everywhere else ok so this is the representation of the rectangular pulse function now if we perform time reversal on this signal if we perform time reversal on this signal we will get the same signal again time reversal simply means folding of the signal mirror image of the signal with respect to the vertical axis or the y axis but this signal is symmetric around the y axis around the y axis both sides it is the same so even if we perform time reversal it will result in the same signal no change no change if we perform time reversal okay so what do we uh, conclude from here it means for even signals okay which are symmetric around the vertical axis even function of t for those signals even if we perform time reversal we will get the same signal it will cause no change okay similarly we can also take the example of the triangular pulse function I have already discussed uh, related to the triangular pulse function also the triangular pulse function it looks something like this <clears throat> this is the triangular pulse function and it is represented as this the triangular pulse function representation 1 minus modulus of t by tau for minus t by tau so then t so then tau by 2 and 0 elsewhere ok so this is the whole representation now here also if we perform time reversal it means folding of the signal around the vertical y axis or the amplitude axis 
but because this signal is an even function of t it is symmetric around the y axis even if we perform time reversal we will get the same signal okay we will get the same signal okay even if we perform time reversal so the important conclusion here is that when the signal is an even function when it is symmetric around the vertical axis if we perform time reversal on that signal we will get exactly the same signal there will be no change in it you can take the example of any symmetric signal any signal which is symmetric with respect to the vertical axis it will give us the same signal for example if we take something like this this signal it will also when if we perform time reversal it will give us the same signal suppose we have something like this Uh, let's say any 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 signal which is symmetric around the vertical axis it will give us the same result okay if it is a sinc function or any gaussian function whatever if it is symmetric with respect to the vertical axis vertical axis then upon time reversal it will give us the same signal there will be no change in it okay so any signal which is symmetric around the vertical axis it will be the same after time reversal so i just wanted to uh, discuss this concept with you so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much